Hi, Bill at the Hobby Center here, just giving you an update on the Tamiya spray paint situation. We received new news from the Canadian importer yesterday. First of all, they say that Tamiya aerosols are still under review by Tamiya for a change of formulation to meet Canadian standards. It is taking a lot longer than we expected for answers. So apparently Tamiya is doing something to help us out in that regard with whatever our Environment Canada restrictions are on their formula. Originally, I had thought and shared with everybody that I didn't think that would happen, that Canada is too small a market, but there's rumblings out in the grapevine that other countries like in Europe and so forth have environmental concerns as well. So maybe they are getting ahead of this to comply with, you know, as many countries and regulations as they can before it becomes a problem. Environment Canada would like us to collect the remaining aerosols. So they would like them to collect, like recall them, the remaining aerosols and the following items that don't meet the regulation. This includes lacquer thinner, uh, 82110, which is the small uh, paint bottle size, and 87077, which is the, what is it, half pint size in the plastic bottle, metal primer, 87204, and some reason, enamel gold, SKU number 80012. I didn't know any enamels were affected by this, but... According to this, it is. Once they receive these, we will we receive a credit. That's us store. So when we return these to the Canadian importer, they will issue us a credit. They want this done by December 31st. So I guess they're giving us a warning. We can sell this, but any remaining stocks get it in by the deadline. I don't know if there's anything legally compelling us to do this or if it's a voluntary basis. I'm sure more will be make this clear later. So they will be removing their Canadian labels from these items and exporting them to the U.S. So they're going down to the states where it's still allowed to sell. There are some colors that have been deemed okay, which includes TS21 Gold, TS83 Silver, TS84 Gold, and TS101 Base White. So they must be doing these on a color-by-color, can-by-can basis to determine what is and what isn't environmentally safe for Canada. Uh, there's a whole slew of PS colors, uh, the polycarbonate sprays. I won't go into them because we don't carry them and it doesn't affect us. So, depending on how compelled we are to return this stuff, you know, we, you know, we're going through Christmas season, so I imagine whatever's left after that, you know, we might want to return it anyways. But just giving you a heads up that the word has gone out to recall the sprays by the end of the month. We're out of all the primary colors. We've been out of the primer sprays almost immediately. We are out of lacquer thinner currently. I even checked to see if there was any more available. There was not. So if there are colors in the aircraft spray line, the high numbers, you know, 60 to 100, and even some of the camel colors and whatnot in the lower number ranges of the Tamiya spray paint, we still have them. Check our website. But maybe by the end of the month, we'll have to comply. Maybe we will be forced to comply. I don't know. When I know, I'll let you know in a further video. But be advised, get what you can. And if you need the lacquer thinners and some of the other stuff, go out there and get it before it becomes general knowledge that this is done for now. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Okay, don't forget, please subscribe, slap that bell, hit that like button, and join Team Hobby Center. Thank you.